exists. I'm filming this in mid-October of 2022, and it's been about nine months of uh, oil filter shortages. Um, the unofficial reason kind of that I heard was Champion's manufacturer quit making them for Champion. The, the kind of rumor was Champion says we'll go somewhere else, get cheaper, and I don't know if that really happened or not. But anyway, Champions are not currently being made. So Tempest is having to pick up the slack for all the oil filters out there. And kind of like toilet paper was at the beginning of uh, 2020, I think everybody's trying to buy a dozen of them because they can't even get one. But everybody's asking what oil filters can you use, can't you use, if there's automotive equivalents. Fortunately, I haven't found any automotive equivalents that work. But here's a couple filters that I've got. I really don't have much left on the shelf. Don't ask me to buy them because I won't sell them to you. Uh, we've got the 103. You'll see these most commonly in surplus because I don't think I've ever actually used one of these. But this is a 13 uh, 16th uh, size bore here with 16 threads per inch. Um, and that is, uh, that's the 103 there. Um, as far as the part numbers go, uh, you'll see a lot of these, uh, we've got all those champions in the one, uh, Tempest here. Um, all the champions start with a CH is the prefix, CH is champion, and AA is Tempest. And then the important part of the part number is this 48 number, 48103. Uh, this is a 48108, this is a 109, a 110, and a 111. Champions have a dash 1 at the end, and Tempest have a dash 2 at the end. So if you had a Tempest 108, it would be an AA 48108-2, or a Tempest 111 would be a AA 48111-2 as well. Uh, the 108 filter... Likewise with the 109, 110, and 111, this is a uh, three-quarter inch, 16 threads per inch um, female receiver on, on this one. And the only difference between the 108 and the 109 is the, uh, the size of the volume here. Um, now, these are physically interchangeable, and I have used larger ones in lieu of smaller ones. On some applications you need to check the application chart to make sure these will work for your application but essentially this is just a larger uh, volume in the filter and likewise with the 110 and a 111 these however just have a three-quarter inch 16th male uh, attach uh, or thread fitting on them and the difference between the 110 and the 111 is the volume there are other aircraft oil filter numbers. I've got a number of them on the shelf, and I have real no idea what they go to. Uh, and we here just service general aviation type airplanes. Uh, so these four really are the, the common sizes. Um, I don't know if there's going to be any champion ones made again anytime soon. So if you're in need of an oil filter, uh, or will be a need, go ahead and order some Tempest filters now and plan on waiting at least six months. Uh, I made an order in July. I made an order in uh, September, and I made another order again tonight. Um, just trying to restock up my inventory. Um, what I've been having customers do that are due for an oil change, um, we've been retaining the oil filters and letting them run another oil change cycle. Um, and I've been putting customers uh, responsible for trying to obtain their own oil filters. A lot of guys just go to eBay to buy them, or some guys find them on Facebook. Um, but I don't think there's really any problem with running the oil filter 100 hours through two oil changes. When we take the oil uh, out of the airplane, we're collecting an oil sample and... We send the oil samples to uh, uh, oil analysis laboratories for analysis. And if those reports come back with high metal of any kind and give us concern to inspect the filter, then we'll go back and take the filter off, cut it open, and look at it. Otherwise, I'm telling guys, you know, just clean your pressure screens on your engines and uh, 
you know, try not to cut open the oil filter unless you have to. Hopefully, we'll start seeing oil filters uh, in, in stock more and we can be on to the next, uh, next shortage of whatever parts. Uh, last summer, it was uh, inner tubes and tires. And now I have a ton of inner tubes and tires that I don't really need. But uh, I sure could use some oil filters. So, And one more thing I kind of forgot to mention on the first, uh, first go around is uh, these filters. A lot of guys have been buying ones uh, that are new old stock off of eBay. Um, and there's guys selling them because they can get a lot of money for them. But they clear them off of a shelf. Um, you know, these do have a shelf life, believe it or not. Uh, Champion says it's five years. And the newer uh, ones actually have a date printed on them here. And that's the manufacture date. Uh, I've actually seen ones that actually had a manufacture date and an expiration date uh, on the, the uh, Champion filters. Uh, as far as the Tempest filters, they don't put a uh, date on them. Um, there are some early uh, Tempest filters. Uh, they used to not have this spin easy. This is actually because you don't have to lube this gasket. Um, and uh, uh, some older Tempest filters. Um, you actually see the, the eight holes here. Some early Tempest filters actually only had four holes. And that had to have been about five years ago. So I would think if you had one of those that it might be a little old. Um, I did put an oil filter onto an airplane that was 20 years old. And after a few hours, we started having oil pressure problems. And we took the oil filter apart and discovered the paper media inside was kind of coming apart. So I do believe that the shelf life is important on these things. And I would not put something that is too old uh, on your engine. You know, maybe maybe six years old, fine on them. Unfortunately, you're not going to cut it open to see what it looks like. But that's uh, just something I think is worth pointing out. So best of luck to y'all. Good luck finding filters. And please don't call me asking to buy mine.